The first piece is 32 Variations by Beethoven. He, uh, this was written during his middle period, during which time he wrote six of his symphonies and five of his string quartets. The piece was very popular at the time. Um, I read somewhere that Beethoven himself didn't really like it that much, but it was uh, accepted by the uh, audiences. And uh, it is written in a special way. It, there are seven or eight chords at the beginning called an ostinato. And these, um, this was a technique from the 18th century composers. If you know the piece Paco Bel Canon, that's the same method where these chords repeat and form the harmonic basis for all the variations above. Um, and um, there's a short section of five variations in the middle which uh, turn from C minor into C major. Uh, you might notice that change. Um, I had a typo when I was typing out a version of this program, and I looked at it, and it said 332 variations by <laughs> Beethoven. <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad I quickly corrected that. <laughs>
Elsie Poulenc was uh, alive uh, from 1899 to 1963. He's now considered one of the 20th century's leading French composers. He first won recognition as a member of Les Six, a group of rebellious French composers that also included Darius Miode. The group's primary bond was a common reaction against the emotionality of César Franck and his disciples and the impressionism of Debussy and Ravel. These French composers, in the group's judgment, had abandoned the classic French principles of restraint and clarity. Poulenc's style can perhaps be best defined by his own analysis. I'm a melancholy person who loves to laugh like all melancholy persons. <laughs> That's a good example. As suggested by that paradox, there are two contradictory strains in his music, one of wit, even sardonic humor and irony, and the other of melancholy. His music is marked by the, uh, the use of spare harmony and dissonance, a search for new combinations of instrumental sound, a sense of elegance, and a gift for melody. The Flute Sonata was written in 1957 and prepared by Jean-Pierre Rampal and Poulenc himself on the piano. Um, and then played frequently until Poulenc's death six years later. In 1959, in fact, Poulenc selected the sonata for a 60th birthday concert of his favorite compositions. The sonata reflects Poulenc's contrasting moods of melancholy and joy. The first movement is appropriately titled Allegro Malenconico, and the mood is mournful. How many times can I say melancholy? I think maybe one more. Um, the melancholy is intermittent and offset by a middle section in better humor. Note at the outset the little rhythmic pattern of 30 second notes and a, followed by a quarter note. This pattern is repeated again and again, giving the music a flowing character. The slow movement is an extended song for flute, slow in tempo but more introspective than depressed. And the third movement is completely lively and spirited with references to the main theme of the first movement and its rhythmic, rhythmic um, figure. And now the music. Bye. 
to perform a selection of songs from Aaron Copeland's 12 po poems by Emily Dickinson. So Aaron Copeland didn't actually intend to write a whole song cycle, um, but over the course of the year between 1949 and 1950, he slowly added one song after another because he enjoyed um, Emily Dickinson's <coughs> poems so much. And um, so he slowly added these songs and it actually became um, his longest work for solo piano and voice. Um, so this song cycle, this full song cycle actually has 12 songs and it explores the theme that um, is near and dear to uh, Emily Dickinson's heart. Um, so they explore nature, death, life and eternity. And Copeland dedicated each of these songs to a friend of his. So we hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
um, is a set of songs by uh, Stephen Songtime, who is one of my favorite um, composers, and I think it's becoming a favorite of Lucy's as well. Um, he's a prolific um, uh, American composer and lyricist and has written many, many musicals um, like Into the Woods, Sweeney Todd, and, um, uh, and lots of film music as well. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of background on the second song, it's called I Remember. Um, this is from one of his very um, earlier works um, as a, uh, it was a TV movie. And, um, and it's about the secret society that lives in a department store. So they hide during the day when all the shoppers come around and then they come alive in the evening. So uh, this young man decides to go and live there and he meets this young lady who was dropped in the linen department when she was six. And, um, and so they meet and she's very, very curious about the outside world and then she sings this song called I Remember to him, describing all the things that, all the bits and pieces of things that she remembers. Shut it. 
Yes, yes.